Welcome to Explorers Camp 2020. Uh, right now, this is Historical Objects with Hannah, and I'm Hannah. Right now, we're in the curatorial workspace, and we're going to be going over some artifacts we have in our collections that have to do with the Han Dynasty and imperial religions and beliefs. So the first thing we're going to go over is this lacquerware of creamer cup. Uh, lacquer is a glaze that you would put on wood or clay to give it a nice shine and making it more durable. This particular set was made in the early 20th century and was made in Fuzhou, China. Um, on it, it depicts a picture of a Chinese dragon. Uh, in, there are nine types of Chinese dragons. This one depicts one called a Fuji. Dragons are an important part of Chinese mythology. They're believed to bring good luck and live anywhere that there is water and believed to control the weather. Our next object here is an ivory figure of a Chinese goddess, Guan Yin, <laughs> that's her name, her name is Guan Yin. She is the goddess of mercy. Like I said, she is made of ivory, so made of elephant tusks. This uh, particular figure was made around the 19th century. Uh, Guan Yin was adopted by Taoist and Buddhist monks um, as a symbol of enlightenment and she's believed to stay on earth to help everyone on earth reach enlightenment. The next thing we have is this Jade Buddha. It is a figure of a laughing Buddha, which is the most common form of Buddha you'll find in Chinese art. It is made of jade. Um, jade is actually just a term we call this uh, material. It is actually two different kinds of stone. It is either jadeite or nephrite. This particular kind is nephrite. Um, jade is, mo is used all over the world in different weapons and ornaments and is a very durable uh, stone. This uh, jade, was, jade figure was made in the 19th century. Now we're gonna walk over here. So here we have a ceramic figure of a rider and his horse. This was made around the third century. They would have been found in general or soldier tombs. Um, this particular style of art shows a more detailed face of the horse's face than the rider's face. That's all I have for you today. Uh, tune back in to watch some more videos that we'll be posting about uh, imperial religions and the Han Dynasty. Bye-bye.